Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Prop Wiz. I'm your host, The Wiz. Today, we're reviewing another figure from Super 7's Ultimate Series, and this is their old dirty bastard figure representing ODB from the Return of the 36 Chambers album. I've been waiting for this bad boy for a long time. I pre-ordered it back in October of 2022, and I finally got it in my hands, y'all. Super hyped up, man. I got a Biggie figure, same exact time. They were actually released the exact same day, and I love Biggie Smalls, man. Very, very big part of my childhood, my upcoming in terms of hip-hop, but man, Make no mistake, man, Wu-Tang was it, man. Wu-Tang was the Bible for you, kid. So, of course, I'm excited to have this figure in hand, especially with a legend like this that's been gone for years. It's good to have something like this on the shelf representing his legacy. Super 7 Ultimate Series is a step up, man. They're very, very detailed. And where they're not detailed, they're very, very accurate to the source. For instance, I got a He-Man figure and I got a Lino from Thundercats figures. Of course, the cartoon wasn't very, very detailed, but the figures look exactly as they do in the cartoon. So, very, very accurate accurate if not detailed if that makes sense but then again as i mentioned i got the biggie figure and biggie was very very detailed very very lifelike looks like the actual biggie so i'm assuming that this is going to be in the same vein as that but anyways jumping in with the box it's looked like we got the picture from the 36 chambers album the return of the 36 chambers album it looks like they basically wrapped his food stamp card i believe is what his uh album cover was and they basically wrapped it around the entire box so on the back you got the back of the food card with some of his information return of the 36 chambers the dirty version, the artist name, Old Dirty Bastard. So real cool design. And again, this comes directly from his album, including the front, the cover. You even got some of the, the US Seal stuff that's on there. The box itself has the shape of a Super 7 uh, Ultimate figure. All their Ultimate series comes in a box like this. We got the Old Dirty Bastard logo at the bottom with the writing Old Dirty Bastard. It looks like his signature. Real dope, man. So we got a slip case. So we'll go ahead and slip that off. <laughs> looking dope, y'all. Looking dope. Okay, before we jump into figure, man, let's just get the, the rest of the box out the way. Got a midnight blue scheme going on. Got the yellow frame. Again, all these colors were on the actual album cover. And on the back, we got a continuation of the design with some writing that says Russell Tyrone Jones, better known by his stage name, Old Dirty Bastard, often abbreviated ODB. He was an American rapper and producer. He was one of the founding members of the Wu-Tang Clan, a rap group primarily from Staten Island, New York. Old Dirty Bastard's debut solo album, Return to the 36 Chambers, the dirty version, is certified platinum with over a million albums sold. 2020 marked its 25th year anniversary since the album's release. So that's real cool, man. Nice little history. So 2020 was the 25th anniversary. So now we're at 28 years after the release of this album, man. That didn't sound right man that's a long time ago man i'm getting old y'all anyways inside the box man we see we got the figure comes with two heads well three heads including the head that's on them we got seven different hands we got the food stamp card in there we got a bottle of liquor inside a paper bag and we got a microphone so the microphone seems like something that's consistent man the biggie figure came with a microphone as well it looks like in the back too we got his white jacket it looks like the jacket that he rocked in the old dirty bastard brooklyn zoo video in fact along those lines this overall outfit looks like Brooklyn Zoo when I saw this it looks like the Brooklyn Zoo music video though I will have to say that the shirt was different like he did have some a shirt that had uh, some printing or a sweater or something on it but I feel like the overall feel has that same feel from that music video I do know he has some promotional black and white photos that had a black t-shirt so it might come from that as well but one of the telltale signs is the glasses with the missing lens was definitely Brooklyn Zoo but again I gotta say that I have seen some promotional photos that he had those same kind of glasses on. So it's hard to say, man. I want to say that this is Brooklyn Zoo music video. When I bought it from the pictures, it gave me the Brooklyn Zoo vibe. It's why I, one of the reasons why I jumped at it. But at the same time, it might be a, a mismatch of, of different things and just uh, things that old Dirty Bastard wore. Regardless, it gives us an ODB feeling. We know who he is. Along those lines, just looking at the head sculpts, it's hard to tell whether he got the gold fangs or is it the nuggets? You know, he had two... Two different grills that he famously wore. One that just looked like all these crooked, crazy looking nuggets. Looked like gold nuggets for teeth. And then, of course, he had uh, the fangs that was synonymous with the Wu-Tang. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself, man. Let's open this bad boy up and take a closer look. Okay, Old Dirty Bass is a lot easier to get out than Biggie. Man, Biggie, I had to kind of struggle and force him out of the packaging. Man, he came out pretty good. Stands up pretty good as well. But just in case, I am going to put him on a stand because, of course, as you see, I talk with my hands a lot, so I don't want to knock him over. Okay, let me take out, show off some of the accessories, man. I will say, I'm probably repeating, but, dude, these accessories, everything is coming out of this packaging way easier than the Biggie, man. The Biggie, I was actually bending the plastic, man, reshaping the plastic to get the stuff out. 
and thus it was hard to put it back in when I was finished. Not the biggest deal, just just observation. But anyway, man, we got the head scope. We got this head scope with his uh, mouth slightly open. Hair looks crazy, man. Y'all, the hair is like real detail how he got the braids going on in the back. I can see that this head scope is not only different in terms of the face that he's making, but the hair is braided differently too. The head scope that's on there, the braids are just uh, look like they're individual braids, whereas this is cornrowed to a point and then coming out. Got another one with the mouth slightly open. One eye like real crazy open, looks real crazy in this, this portrait. Real dope, uh, eye is the same. I guess the mouth is slightly more closed. So totally different look, but this look is very synonymous with, with old Dirty Bastard as well. Seen him make that look in, in music videos. The head scope that's on the figure, got the headband, got the glasses in the headband. None of that stuff comes off. So the glasses and the headband is specific to this head scope. So if you wanna rock that, we're gonna have to keep that on. and. I do want to rock that. I actually like some of the faces. I like these other scopes, but I want the glasses with the Mrs. Lens, man. I, I, I want that. So that's what we're rocking with. Again, we got the microphone. We got the liquor bottle inside the paper bag. I already mentioned the food stamp card is so small. I'm not going to take that out, man. The camera is not going to focus on it. And then finally, we got this white jacket. Dude, I think I'm going to rock it with the jacket, man. I think that's going to give a level of detail. He got the microphone. I did pose Biggie with the microphone. ODB, I'm not going to do that because, again, man, my, my favorite video ever, ODB, is Brooklyn Zoo, man. So I'm trying to get that look. He didn't have a microphone in that video. He did have the jacket. So I think that's what we're going to figure out. Okay. Man, got the jacket on. That was, wasn't the easiest task in the world. But I guess it's not something you're going to be doing all the time. I did have to remove the hands to get the jacket on. All right, boom, man. As far as the figure itself, man, super dope. I already spoke on the head scope. The head scope that's on there was real dope, man. You got the glasses. It's got like a real lens in there. It's missing one lens. The hair is very, very detailed. Very, very realistic looking. The shirt, the black t-shirt is all rubber. The jeans is all rubber. So I don't know. It gives it a realistic uh, feel, man. Everything is detached. It feels like it moves a, a little bit, at least to the eyesight. When you touch it, it's rubber. But it's got a very, very realistic look to it. The coloring on the jeans is perfect. The boots, man, he's wearing his Tims. The Tims look good. I will say this. Biggies, they're a little bit better. But the crazy thing is, Old Dirty, the way they got it designed, there's more movement in his Tims than there was in, in Biggies. So they, the design... Uh, kind of difference. Kind of weird to see the same kind of accessory that both of them have Tim's, but they kind of did a totally different thing with this guy. So maybe somebody else designed this within the uh, the Super 7 team. But at the same time, Old Dirty Bassett is way more flexible, way more fluent with his movements than Biggie was, right? Biggie had his stance. He was a bigger guy, didn't move around a lot, wasn't re really known to be, you know, extremely animated in his movements, whereas an old dirty bastard had his little, what they call the drunken technique, where he moved around in a certain kind of way. So it makes sense that he would be more flexible, more free with it, because it wasn't even just his movement in his videos and stuff. I mean, even some of his photos, some of the promotional photos that got him in all kinds of positions, sitting in crazy ways or whatnot. So it makes sense that he has more joints. So I'm not mad at him. By no means am I saying the Tims are, uh, look bad at all. They actually look good. This is my expectation for, for a toy like this. It was just comparing it to the Biggie. I just had to, th that was just an observation. Biggie was, looks like actual Tims were, were shrunken down and, and put on them. This does have more of a toyetic look to it, which is fine. Again, on the thing of flexibility, flexible, I say flexible enough, man. Some of the rubber, the areas that's in the rubber, I can see that there's joints there. A little bit hard to move around, but not not bad at all. At least not bad enough to hate it. Real, real cool, man. I bet you this is the action figure that old Dirty Bassett himself, man, probably would have enjoyed, would have thought was crazy. Anyways, man, absolutely awesome, man. Glad I got this as part of my collection. Not quite sure where I'm going to display it yet. Probably be in my music studio, man. I got some, uh, some records and stuff. I might display it over there with that. I do have one of their older Super 7 figures, man. Their retro style old Dirty Bastard figure. I think I got this one a couple of years ago, maybe two or three years ago. It's crazy as I'm looking at it now. Uh, two things. One, the writing on the back is identical to the one that's on the back of this. Obviously, the overall food card design is the same, but now that I'm looking at it at close, it's actually the same outfit and, and everything. So it was real cool to see this, this simpler version of this. Like, obviously, this is way more detailed, not just in design, but how it's painted and everything compared to this bad boy. And this is one that never did a box opening. Like, I have no intentions of opening this. I think this design is cool. 
this is how he's going to be displayed somewhere on the wall. But anyways, that's my review on the Super 7 Old Dirty Bastard figure. Leave me some comments, y'all, man. Let me know what you guys think. Does anybody else got this? I just got mine this week, so I'm just assuming, I, and I got this one directly from the company Super 7, so I'm assuming that everybody, if you ordered it, probably got yours this week or about to get it or, or something around that time period. With that being said, if you got one, let me know what you think. Is this something that you're interested in? Are you even into hip-hop? hip-hop figures if you're on this site man you gotta you gotta get with the hip-hop man come on also if you like this video please take the time to hit that like button if you haven't already please subscribe hey make sure you guys check me out on instagram i'm at at the prop Wiz. if you look in my bio man i got a link tree that link tree got all kinds of links that got my music page got my spotify page as well as some other cool things that i do all right so check that out and hey as yeah. always i love you guys to death and i'll check you out yeah. next time all right I'm like Frankenstein, try to get live through it. Electrified high, trying to vibe to it. And you try to slide through it, not me. I'm more like LL, so I fly through it. It's like kryptonite tied to your neck, but you guys do it, not me. I'm in my prime when I ride through it. Mortal Kombat rap, brain pain when I drain your spine fluid. My music, in other words, to make you cry to it. I'm amusing it till your little niggas start to die to it. Try it, do it. I will owl, you get, you get. Street fighter refuse it when I spew it. I'm choosing and proving, y'all choosing to move. Yo, buffoonery, stop, your computers be locked, your password's wrong, my words are past high, if that's not how Hercules, I'm Hercules, and track socks, a small cop of Mayberry me, I prefer Matt Lock. Remember now, but I'm Bill Bixby, do 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 for Rick, no, big bullets that shoot through you and your kinfolk. How, how, how many rappers do you know like this? Big bullets that shoot through you and your kinfolk. Remember now, I'm Bill Bixby, do 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 for Rick, no, big bullets